evening, everyone. My name is Bernard Canna. I'm the editor of photographer at the website known as The Photo Pit. We are here once again, continuing our series of interviews with the Blue Ridge Rock Festival Rising Talents. Today, we have a wonderful band, and, and I think these guys are going to surprise you when you start to hear a little bit about their story, because it surprised me when I listened to their music and read up a little bit about their history. So I want everyone here to, uh, I want to introduce everyone to the band to begin anew. Um, why don't you guys go ahead and start to introduce yourselves and your roles within the band. Hey, um, I'm Shane. I play bass. I help with some backing vocals. Um, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cody. I, uh, I sing and uh, play rhythm guitar. I'm Casey. I uh, play drums and attempt to sing. <laughs> All right. Nice to meet you guys today. How you all? How's everyone doing? Doing great. Good, man. Thank you for having oh, us on. Yeah, yes, no, thank you very much. My pleasure. So when, as I started to intro about the surprise that I had, it, it's, it has to do to me with your, with your origin and, and your actual together being a band. So why don't you tell our watchers, listeners, readers, we're going to catch this interview. How long have you guys been around? Cody, January, Cody started this in January of 2020. Like, that's that's when they smacked it. And I joined the band in July of 2020. So, so I mean, yeah, you guys are fairly new. I mean, I say fairly young. new, right? Within a year, that's fairly yeah. new. Yeah, really brand new. We're, we, like, just got spanked. We were born, you know. <laughs> it's, it's always funny, Mark. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, like, me, me and Casey are brothers, so we, we grew up playing music together. Um, this particular project, Casey and I have been in projects years, years previous. Years previous. Um, but this particular project, it, it really wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be a band. Um, I had gone out of music. I would got to a crossroads in my life where I had to make a couple of decisions, and ultimately I had to step away from music for about six or seven years. Um, I got to a, a pretty steady spot where I could start exploring some old hobbies again, and uh, picked up the guitar and just, you know, old, old things just kind of come back and started noodling a little bit. And uh, before I knew it, I was, I was starting to write songs. Um, I can't play drums. I know that my brother Casey can. So I had approached him and I was like, hey, man, you, you want to just maybe write some music, just see what happens? You know, worst case scenario, we'll just write some songs, go to the studio and just have a little bit of fun with it. Um, and it, it wasn't even supposed to be that. It was just like, hey, help me finish writing the music because I can't play drums. And uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, we ended up getting together and wrote several songs together and then snowball fix started happening. We're like, okay, well, this is this is starting to become something a little bit more than just a jam project. So we reached out and found a couple other guys that uh, got involved. Um, ultimately, long story short, you know, they participated in helping us write our first two songs. Um, they, they had to ultimately step down. Um, we got Shane on board. Shane was actually the first bass player that we wanted. However, Shane was in a previous project. Yeah, and, uh, I had other obligations at the time that had to be taken care of. Uh, well, we ultimately got our dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm lucky with me. I got booted from my last project. But no, um, yeah, so we ended up getting Shane in the band, and um, we've known Shane forever. Like I said, I went to Casey school. Was... Yeah, we went, I went, actually went to school with Casey and Cody. Um, me and Co Casey actually graduated together. Um, I was, I guess you can call like a mega fan of them. Like I, I, I love like their old bands and I was like, fuck man, I want to do that. Like, that a fan boy. I want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> so I've known them for a while and they asked me to join. And finally, when it got to the point where I'm like, okay, I could, I could actually join to begin anew. I, I went ahead and did it. Okay. And it's who we, who we not, who's not with us tonight. Cause you do have one more member, Josh. And what's Josh's role? Uh, lead guitar. Lead guitar. Okay. So yeah, I, you know, your name suits your history for sure. To begin anew. <laughs> so, uh, but, so who came up? With basically, to to us, the whole band name kind of come as like it, it was it was a new musical chapter for for us. I kind of all of us. I kind of had like all of us. Working, yeah. Yeah, it was kind of like a working band name initially. It wasn't like an actual official band name. Um, it was just something to call the project other than Cody playing guitar and Casey playing drums. Um, <laughs> but once we all kind of got together and, and started actually writing music, um, we were like, you know what, that, that actually works. It, it's, it's a complete new chapter in our lives, musically and, you know, life involved. 
for us. We all just kind of turned the page and started started fresh. Especially with COVID, but you know, it was weird because COVID smacked too. Like right when to begin a new started. So it's like, all right, well, we can't play shows, you know. It was bad. Right. So I, I was so I was gonna ask, right? You you form right at like right at the start. Well, not even at the start fully yet. I mean, that's the point there was. Um, not at least in the US fully and really until March, but you you had already like started to make your way and then right, COVID hit and you're kind of like, great, now what? So what did what did you guys do in the meanwhile to fill in the gap while you couldn't go and play shows? Right. It's so, a lot. Yeah, yeah. In, initially, like the whole the whole process for me was like, okay, I finally decided to start another band after six or seven years, and the world just craps all over me. <laughs> but um on the bright side, you know, I, I don't have any complaints. I mean, I, I have some complaints about the way things happen, but overall, is is us being musicians, um, it, you know, things changed since last time Casey and I was in a in a serious serious band. Uh, back in those days, you know, there was no Spotify. Um, mm -hmm. You had like it was like MySpace and you know things like that. Um, don't age us. So it, it, <laughs> it really gave us the opportunity to kind of get ahead of the curve and, and learn what we needed to do to be relevant in social media now plus we're millennials so you know we know kind of like both spectrums on what to do it, it really did I, mean, I almost <laughs> consider it a blessing in disguise really i mean it, it really helped us because whenever whenever things finally got right we were able to hit the ground running like there was no like trying to yeah. figure things out because we had we had already done that we had we music were... under our belt we had videos underneath our belt we already had a a pretty dedicated fan base on social media i mean it, without ever playing a show. without ever playing a show so yeah, we were ready to fucking sorry smack smack the ground running when we played shows. So and, sure. and and what and you did mention that you guys you know you were writing and you did talk about a little about your music and already had built a fan base based on I'm assuming just singles that you released correct over you know like into YouTube and your Spotify and such like that. Three so yep. three so far that's I mean that's pretty good for under you know <laughs> so much short of time. Yeah. Um, it's funny because our first single that you know. Our first single, Arise, we have three singles out right now. We have Arise Out, we've got Break New Ground, and our newest song, which is Awaken. Um, whenever we whenever we shot Arise, about a week or two before we, we shot that video, the bass player that we had at the time actually quit the band. And we already had, like, the video shoot and everything lined up. So we called up Shane. We like, look, dude, we're in a bind. Um, you think you can come play right on this video? And uh, he answered the call, and he ended up playing in the video. And then right. like, that's Hey, after he felt the vibes with everything, he's like, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and get in this. And we're like, yeah. <laughs> initially, well, initially I was only, I was only going to shoot the video because I had other, I did have other obligations and I fulfill my obligations. If I have something I have to, you know, do, I'm going to take care of that first. Um, but COVID, while yes, was negative in a way, was also positive in a way for me because it put a lot of things to a halt. And I'm like, okay, well, everything I had planned isn't planned anymore. Right. So it's time to do something new. And so that's where in a way to begin a new, it was kind of like, like Cody said earlier, it's, it's a brand, it was a brand new start for me as well, musically. Okay. Yeah, no. now... Yeah, so let, let's talk a little bit about the actual music. Um, the single that I got to listen to, Killer Track, absolutely loved it, um, called Awaken. Tell me Awaken. a little bit about this single, because that's your newest one, correct? Yes. Yeah. Shane, do you want me to tell a story on that? Yeah, go ahead. You wrote it. Uh, I mean, I, I know we talked about you running primary on this <laughs> thing, man. But go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> dude, go ahead. Thunder, bro. Um, no, so Awaken, for, for me, we kind of wrote it as a... Uh, the, the short version of that song is basically with all the negativity going on in the world today, you can turn on the media and, and just see all the hate and just all the bad stuff going on in the world. Awaken, we wrote it as kind of like an anthem for you to stand up for what you believe in and don't let anybody change the way that you feel or change what you believe in. You know, fight fight for what you believe in as, as a person and don't be swayed by anything that you see going on in the world. We all know it's going to affect you in some way, but it shouldn't change the way that you feel and what you believe in. And stay positive. And, and especially during, you know, that time that a lot of people needed to hear messages like that. Um, you know, everyone's isolated, you know, people were getting sick, you know, family members, you know, unfortunately death and such around all that. So I can, 
completely understand that. It's, even it's, not just sick, but even just, I guess, uh, I guess it'd be like cabin fever where people, everyone's just staying home, you know, mm -hmm. um, not, not seeing, not seeing their loved ones or friends or, or people they care about. Like that could probably, that could and will drive a person, you know, crazy too, especially if they're just staying inside all day. Yeah. And, and I can understand that. And I can see, especially for musicians, you guys must have been in kind of like, I'm assuming you're in that same boat that you you felt that, you know, that urge, like, oh, my gosh, why aren't we? Why aren't we doing shows yet? Why can't we get out there and, you know, and, and then, you know, get out there in front of bands and be on the stage and such? Was Did that impact you a lot, the isolation factor? Uh, in a way, mm -hmm. in a way for me, it, it kind of did is toward like we, you know, we were practicing and. There was times I'm, I thought, are we ever going to get to actually play a show again? Like, don't don't take shows for granted. Like, I cherish every show we play as a band. What, what about for you, Cody and Casey? Uh, well, I mean, I, I agree with what Shane said, but the, the thing that was different for me and Casey, which, I'm again, I can't speak for Casey because he was in an active band at the beginning of this band. Yeah. But, you know, Shane come from being in a previous band where they were playing shows and they had events prior to COVID happening. Um, for me, you know, I had just started up. Yeah, I had expectations. You know, I wanted to, by the time really that COVID hit, I was planning on us being on a stage at that point. And then it's like, nope, that, that's not going to happen. And for the unforeseeable future, you had no clue whenever things was going to happen. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, that kind of sucked. But again, it, I, I, I try to take away the positive from it because it, it did give us a lot of opportunity and a lot of a lot of time to really craft what we have now. So I, I am thankful of that. It drove me crazy. I went from playing every weekend to just nothing. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I can see that. I can completely understand that. I can. I definitely get to empathize, you know, with you on that. We were, you know, media was in the exact same boat with, you know, going to shows as often as we could to then nothing. I Nothing. literally had, you know, one of my last shows was in March that I got to cover. And then, right, I had another show literally two days later, and the PR was telling us our pub, the publicist, well, that, sorry, publicist, you know, reached out immediately to said the show's canceled. You know, things are off. And I was like, okay. And then watching them drop one by one, that That's was horrible. just heartbreaking. So yeah. I, I, get, I absolutely understand. Absolutely understand. Uh, the, the one thing I did mention, I, I told you guys before we got on camera here with Awaken, what blew my mind is, you know, you're so polished for a band that's only been around a year. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, as we talked, I, I can understand as to why. Um, but, you know, Cody, you mentioned it. Tell, tell me why what your, you know, your philosophy was as to why that is. Um, so I think the biggest thing for us is that, you know, myself and Casey, Shane included, um, you know, we, we've been in bands before, so we kind of knew what, to expect from each other. Um, even though Shane wasn't in our band, like we said, you know, we grew up with Shane. We knew how Shane was on stage. I'm Casey a baby. I've only been in the music scene for three years. Like I, I'm young. <laughs> <laughs> he brings it though, man. But yeah, I mean, that, that was one uh, a big benefit for us is that, you know, we, even though this particular band itself is, is fairly new, um, we all come from, from musical backgrounds where we've been on the stage. So, you know, there, there is no awkward, like stage fright, stuff like that, you know, trying yes. to learn, learn how to work the crowd, you know, that's all stuff that we brought already knowing how, how that stuff works. So, you know, it kind of put us that much further ahead of the curve. I mean, yeah, me and you have been in more 15 years worth. Yeah. Roughly. So, or at least I have. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Casey never stopped. He's been, since I've known him, he's just been playing in bands. <laughs> just going, grinding, grinding, grinding. It's in the system. I can't quit. Yeah, I get it. I get it. So with now with, you know, to begin a news, your new project here and, and all of you now from, from your various backgrounds, um, is the goal to go full-time? I would love that. Eventually. For, for us. Yeah. I, I, think, I think we all would. I mean, yeah, for, you know, we all – obviously we all work day jobs and we all have family. So if, if it comes to that point, you know, we're, we're going to have some, some pretty major decisions to make, but I also know that, you know, we're all, all three of us are married. Um, Casey and Shane both have children. I, I don't have any children, but I know our families are all 100% supportive of us, which I know 
Oh you, yeah, if you have to. Something comes up, man. If something comes up and it's like, hey, you know, you want to go on a go on a leg for a little while, um, I feel fairly confident that all of our families would would be supportive of that. You know, yeah, we might have to figure some things out. You know, if we're going to be gone for any two, three, four weeks, if not longer. Um, but as far as support from our family, I, I, there's no doubt that that's there for sure. So I mean, I, I would, I think we all would love to make you know something of this more than just playing shows on the weekends. Absolutely. I know right. I do. 100%. We, we want this for the band. I, I do. We, we all do. <laughs> okay. And, and, and it's interesting that you, that you said that. Have you guys played shows um, so far yet at this point? Have you guys been oh, yeah. on stage and play? Okay. We, yeah, we yes. have recently started. Yep. We actually playing a double header this, this weekend. Um, we're playing in South Carolina Friday and then in our hometown Saturday. Awesome. We're actually uh, we're actually opening up for Adelina's Way Saturday. They're also on Blue Ridge. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. The, yep. They are. I love those guys. They're a lot of fun. They're absolutely a lot of fun. So now that you mentioned we, we, Blue Ridge, you, since you brought it up first, so let's let's talk a little bit about that with the and since you are so new, right? And you and you only had three singles that are out. How did you guys get onto the Blue Ridge? Did you apply? you know to them reach out to the festival tell me the story behind this how'd you guys get on the lineup um well i was uh i was in a band that was supposed to play it uh last year shame. <laughs> i was in a band that was supposed to play it last year and uh so i i uh i had a lot of people a lot of a lot of people that we know we contacted them and they were like hey look can you tag us on the post you know and we had everyone tag us that they want us in Blue Ridge, and it I, it worked. Did the, did the festival reach out to you? I'm assuming then to say, hey, we're just going to bring you on. Uh, yeah, yeah. the The festival ended up uh, emailing us. At, uh, we we definitely uh, sent an email as well. Uh, they brought us on. Um, and yeah, we we are just excited to play it. I That's I know. Great. Yeah. Yeah, it's the it's the power of social media, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. That uh, you exactly. don't even have to play a show anymore, honestly, to get to get quote unquote known musically or anything you do really. If if you push it online, I guess now, but yeah, shows I, I where mean, our and, hearts at. Yeah, and there's and honestly, there is a truth to that too. I mean, I'll say there's a truth to that to a point. You know, for musicians who are just you know starting, I like your group being so fairly new, even though you're all have been in music for a while. Uh, except for you, Shane, because you say you're the baby. Uh, the, right. You know, even even the fact that that you know getting yourselves out there, you don't have to necessarily be in front of people in order to do that. And there's a lot of bands now who do do that before they get out there onto the stage and you know and play. So I'm glad to see this is working for you. I'm glad to see you guys are gonna you know you'll be at Blue Ridge in the lineup, and and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit. Um, but yeah, I mean the thing is like like I said, like it's really impressive to me that your you know your music is so solid. You know, and it's it has a great rock sound. You know, Black that, Plate Productions actually was a the studio we recorded all three singles at. Actually, and that um, I don't know. I loved working there. I know, I know. Casey's an uh, an amazing drummer. Um, I remember Break New Ground. He knocked it out in one try. Like his drums, like the the first time was the perfect time. Like it was it was amazing. That's a, that's an know. odd rarity. <laughs> Casey's and, over here, like, what, what can I say? What yeah. can I say? <laughs> and, and Cody, wake and it takes me hours. Cody is in a very amazing songwriter. Like he, he'll downplay it, but no, he'll downplay it. But he's got a very, very uh, natural, natural talent for poetry and and uh, melodies. It gets stuck in your head. Yeah, I just want to say, Bernard, on on record, on your on your show right here, that's like the nicest thing Shane's ever said to me. <laughs> <laughs> I've said it before. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say I won't disagree. You know, uh, like I said, "Awake" it's a great track. We'll definitely we're gonna we'll post that as part of the interview. But anyone, you know, when you get a chance to you know read or watch, if you're gonna watch the interview, go find that track and go listen to it. We'll make sure you get all their links onto the actual website when we post this up and, uh, and see that. But yeah, the old, you fans will love that. They'll absolutely love that song. So let's, let's talk a little bit about outside of music things. So 
what do you guys like to do? Well, first of all, we never talked about where are you guys located? Usually we bring that up up front, bad on me. Where are you guys from? Where are you? Middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, our closest, our closest no, city is Jacksonville, Jacksonville, uh, North Carolina. Okay. Jacksonville, North Carolina. I know, I know where Carolina. that is. Not quite middle of nowhere, but it's... Well, no, where we're actually from, it definitely is a middle of nowhere. It's just easier for us to say Jacksonville. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're not the first band to say that, which I always find funny. So everyone says, we like to say this town because if we said where we're really from, no one would know where that is. So that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all right. All right. So, so what do you guys do when you're not recording music or playing shows? Shane, what about you? Oh, oh you want me? You. you want me? Yeah, I'll start with you. Okay, well, yeah. uh, when I'm not uh, recording or playing shows, I mean, I, I like spending time with my family. I, I love spending time with my family. Um, and I I do some twitching. You do some twitching? So Live you, streaming, you, yeah. You're, are you, is it, now are you doing it for gaming or are you doing it for some, for music stuff? I do both. I actually just did a live stream to see how it went, um, like sound wise. And sadly, it was pixelated, but I did our, our set recently that we just played a show this past weekend and I live streamed that. So it, it is some music and, and gaming. Okay. So tell me, tell me about your gaming because I, and I'll explain why in a second, but tell me about your gaming. What do you like to play? Um, I like to play a lot of story games. Um, I used to love first person shooters, but as far as when I, when I stream, I like to play story games, things that can, get get the crowd engaged okay as well as well right. like the last of us um was a great oh, series uh i, I, I I'd like to agree with you but i just can't <laughs> it, the, the second one i understand the second one you know touched it touched every every feeling um but that's a whole nother story <laughs> yeah no that that game drove me crazy and i'll yeah I'll, I'll, I can talk about that afterwards off, offline. <laughs> well, our, some RPGs like uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance I've recently started recently, and it's that's really realistic. It's set in the fifteen <laughs> the fifteenth century. Um, it's it's I, the best way to describe it. It's like Skyrim, but without the uh, the magic or, or uh, it's realism. Right. So there's no there's no fantasy in it. Yep, I know that one. I've heard of it. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And doing some Bloodborne, but yeah. All right. Oh, that's another one. One of those. <laughs> yeah, be hard to want to play that. Die a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Understatement. All right, Casey. What about you? What do you like to do when you're not doing music? Um, other than hanging out with the family, I don't do very much. <laughs> I'm boring. <laughs> I highly I mean, doubt that for some reason, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, that, that's that's pretty much it uh, i'm either doing music or i'm i'm hanging out with the kids okay. um yeah that's my weekends <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with family focus it's all good. I'm a family <laughs> all right what about you cody um well i'm i'm blessed enough to say that i am married to my absolute best friend um best friend <laughs> <laughs> my best friend excuse me um so we, we like to do a lot of traveling when we can, um, spend a lot of time together making memories and stuff. We, we love to travel. So anytime we get opportunity, go to another state, go to the mountains, get away. Um, we love making memories, doing stuff like that. So again, uh, spending time with my family. If, I, if I'm not playing music, I'm usually spending time with my wife, okay. who happens to be my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> so where's your favorite place to travel? Where's the best place you've traveled to so far? Honestly, I can I can fairly easily say for me it's probably the mountains. The mountains is just like a, a North cutaway. Carolina mountain. Just Be it's, it's a cutaway from everything. It just gives you an opportunity just to kind of you, you go to the mountains and you just feel like I don't know. It's like a, it literally is like a, a breath of like fresh air that just you just. Virginia it's hard to mountains are cool too. I love it. I love the mountains, man. Drive to a cabin, nobody else around. Sit there on the porch. Just watching it out over nothing. Yeah, I love it, man. I love it. Okay. Yeah, I, I can get I can definitely understand that. I've I've been in that in that room back when I used to live in New York. We used to go to the Catskills. And that is just beautiful there. And it's peaceful and tranquil and just soak it in, right? And just away from the noise. Yeah, that's, you know? that's the cool thing about North Carolina. I mean, if, if you really take time and kind of dive into the state, 
Um, there, there's so much stuff to do here, like in literally in your backyard, you know, you've got a beach on one side, you've got mountains on the other, you've got these great neighboring states that are close by. I mean, it's just, it's, I don't want to sound like I'm trying to promote the state, but I really love the state. There's so much cool <laughs> stuff to do. Oh, that's that okay. Can we even get you in a commercial? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's no promotional ads in here, YouTube, none whatsoever, nothing. <laughs> Visit right. North Carolina. Yeah. So the, the interesting part of why I wanted to bring up Shane about gaming is that I found with interviewing the band so far that we've done for the Blue Ridge Rock Festival, um, there's a trend. And that trend is two things. It's either one, someone in the band at some point in time is an artist, <laughs> meaning like they've, you know, they draw, they sculpt, right, they, whatever. And the other one is the game. <laughs> and the it's, gamer. It, it has been it has been never fail with the exception of one band and that band was very unique when we talked about that but yeah i mean everyone else so far i talked to has been that's it's one or the other it's interesting so the trend continues so thank you shane for sharing <laughs> yes sir <laughs> all right so um what what last words do you want to you know for the three of you have to say to you know to the fans here that are watching listening reading about either you know your music um you know the festival whatever happens to be on your mind and, and i'm going to start with casey first um come see us come talk to us at the shows um if we haven't been to your hometown ask a local venue to get us out there yeah we love meeting the new people all right shane uh i just want to say thank you um to everyone who who supports us uh it's a dream of ours to to play music and not everyone gets to do it, and I really just want to say thank you, seriously. Okay, and come hang and come hang out with us. Come hang out with us at Blue Ridge. All right, and Cody. Yeah, I mean, I, I got to follow suit with, with Shane on that. I mean, just a big thank you for all the undying support we've had since the beginning. I I can say, you know, the the presence that we've had on social media, and just now we've actually been able to get out and play shows again. Um, it's it's almost been overwhelming the amount of support that we've got from people. And, yeah. and to people like in, including yourself, you know, that you don't you don't know us outside of this interview, but for you to say you guys have some really solid stuff. Yeah, um, that really it means, means a lot. A, it means a lot to, to me. I know it means a lot to us, but um, yeah, I mean, we've definitely put into work with this band. Um, I mean, that's that's putting it mildly. We're still putting we, in the work. <laughs> spent a lot of time spent a lot of money. Um, I mean, we we put a lot of work in this project. And I think we all know. You know, we're, we're in our 30s now. We're in our early 30s. So there's only so much more time left that we've got to, to do something with this. Yeah. Um, so that we're trying to make sure that we give it you know, our everything. So just everyone that's been a part of the journey so far, thank you. And, thank you. and we, we hope to keep this thing rolling and meet a lot of new folks out there. Okay. Sounds good. So let's, uh, what day are you guys playing at the Blue Ridge Rock Festival? Friday. On Friday. Friday. Okay. Friday, September the 10th. So yep. um, for everyone to remind you, this is the band to begin anew. They will be playing at the Blue Ridge Rock Festival on Friday, September the 10th. So please go see their set. I, I will say from what I've listened to, you will enjoy them. And if you don't, I'm sorry, you're wrong. Um, <laughs> so go out there and, you know, give them a chance. If you see them at the festival, you know, go out and talk to them, say hi. And most importantly, as I've said with every other rising town that we've had these interviews with so far, go buy merch. Go buy, you know, if they have stickers, T-shirts buy digital singles, whatever, because this is how you support your local venues, your local bands. This is how they make their money. Um, and this is what allows them to continue to make more music. So if you really support these bands, that's the way to do it. So please go do that um, and help them out as, as best as you can. All right. So with that being said, thank you guys. I appreciate your time tonight. Uh, it was thank great you. talking to you. And uh, you. we will see each other then over at uh, the Blue Ridge Rock Festival and uh, take it from there. Yes, sir. Let's do it, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right.